Welcome everyone to Tuesdays with Suzanne. We are going into the holiday season and I think we're about 10 days away from what the Christians um, celebrate as the birth of Jesus. We've just gone through the period where the Jews celebrate Hanukkah and the lighting of the menorah. Um, we have another uh, international holiday called Kwanzaa that's around here somewhere. I'm not sure where. I'm now showing you my um, lack of education in this, in this particular area. But most importantly is that the thing that's happening in nature right now is we're coming into the darkest period of the year. Where in the northern hemisphere, the northern hemisphere, things are, get dark very early and they get light later and later, up until the 21st of December. And so all of these holidays, all of these holidays come right in to this time in nature when the darkness, when the, the shortness of the days, when the process of who we are as human beings begins to turn inward, inward. Where are you now? As you're seeing the shorter days, as you're seeing, if you're in the northern hemisphere, colder weather, if you're in the southern hemisphere, warmer weather. But I'm here in the northern hemisphere, so I'm going to speak to that. What is true is that it gives us an edge. It gives us a, a portal into our inner process. So today we're going to be doing something where we dive deep inside, refill our reserves, and take the time to drop in deeply, deeply, to whatever is going on for you in this moment. The other thing that happens sometimes in the outer world is that it is laden with expectations. And before the pandemic, tons of travel and lots of family and all the different things that had to happen around this time of year. So it can also be a time that can be troubling for people because, because the expectations don't really work well with what our reality is at the moment, which is that we have shorter days. We're actually wanting to drop inside, slow down, and begin to listen inwardly. Okay, so let's do that. Get your feet on the floor. Today we're going to drop deep into the most inner recesses that, of who we are, meaning our bones, and we will be entering that area and sitting in quiet together to refill and to renew our reserves. Okay, so allowing yourself to get comfortable, soles of your feet on the floor. Good. And as you allow your eyes to gently close, your back supported, <laughs> allow yourself to simply pay attention to notice what your breath is like. With each inhale, we bring in the new. With each exhale, we let go of the old. With each inhale, we're bringing in the new. And with each exhale, letting go of what no longer serves us. Each inhale, coming in with the new. Each exhale, Letting go of what we no longer need. And allowing yourself, no matter what your thoughts, no matter what's going on in your world, to begin to turn inward with your attention. Paying close attention to the rise and fall of your chest with each inhale and exhale. Good, good, good. And as you drop inward, noticing the rise and fall of your chest, be curious about what the sensation of your backbone feels like. Whatever's supporting it right now, 
feeling the sensation of that, maybe even wiggling your backbone a little bit so that your attention, breath by breath, drops deeper and deeper. Good. Good. And as it drops deeper, feeling the sensation of your belly rising and falling with each breath. Good, good. And the sitting bones, your sitting bones, on whatever is supporting you right now. Good, good. Feeling the bottom of your spine as it curves around, comes into the bowl of your pelvis. Yeah. Allowing yourself to feel the backs of your legs as they're resting on whatever's supporting you right now. Your knees, your calves. Letting your attention, your awareness, your noticing drop all the way deep into your feet, to the soles of your feet resting on the floor or the ground, wherever you are. Good. And as you play with this, I'm going to allow my eyes to stay closed during this meditation because it's almost impossible to drop deep into your bones, into that inner sanctum, with eyes open. So I invite you, if your eyes are half open or slightly open, to close them now, dropping deep, deep, deep inside, feeling again the quality of the solidness of your backbone. And some of you may have aches or pains in your back, or you may have been told there's something wrong with your bones, or whatever it is. We are going to focus on the fact that your bones are the sturdiest, most solid form of connective tissue in the body, in your body. And as we drop our attention, our awareness there, oftentimes you may find that you feel a sense of steadiness, as though you were on rocky ground and you found a tree that you could hug, the solidness of a big tree. And notice how that sensation feels in your backbone. No matter what else is going on there, Feel that sensation of your backbone dropping deeply, deeply, deeply. And as you sink in with your awareness, you'll go through all the layers of bone, and you'll come to the very heart of your bone, the matrix of it, if you will, the bone marrow. And I think of this area where life is born, stem cells are born here. Stem cells become all the other cells of the body. So life is born here, within us. I think of this as the inner sanctum, the inner sanctum of who I am. You can be dropping into any particular area in your bones that works for you. For me, it works best if I drop deep, right behind my heart, deep into my spine. Allow yourself, when your attention is deep within, in your mind's eye, let your noticing, let your curious self sit here in the richness of your bone marrow. The quiet. Good. 
and feel the steadiness. Feel the solidness of embodying here. And as we rest here in our bones, in the bone marrow, there's a a filling. Our bones are like sponges, or we would all weigh 800 pounds. And as you embody here, it is as though your bones are reminded to soak up what is nourishing and nurturing for them from this flow that's moving through us all the time, the river of chi that moves through us. Yeah. Good. And letting your bones like sponges in a clear river of clean, beautiful energy. Soak up what they need. There's a wonderful sound just just soaking up all of your bones. Soaking up what would nourish them most. Refilling your reserves. The deep wells of who you are. And I'm noticing that the deep well of my heart, my backbone, (laughs) is becoming full. It's as though someone primed the pump. Yeah. Good. Good. And you may stay here as long as you would like. Some of you, you may sit for another five minutes or it might be another hour until it feels as though the sponge of your bones has completely filled up. I'm going to allow us to bring this meditation to a close and next week we're going to pick it up and we're going to be filling deep in our inner reserves in a different part of the body. Today we were concentrating behind the heart. Next week we'll be working with the sacrum. So when you're ready, you can either stay in this meditation or you can allow your eyes to open and come back and join me. And have a wonderful week. Pay attention to what nourishes you most at this time of year and often It is in sitting in silence, deep in quiet. Enjoy.